Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss an example for vector. Kylie refers to the questions, the angle between the vector A and B is the arc cost for over 21. Find the scalar T given that the vector A where we have 6i plus 3j minus 2k and the vector B where we have negative 2i plus tj minus 4k. So Kylie refers to the formula. So here we have the vector A dot with the vector B equals to the magnitude of vector A multiply with the magnitude vector B cos theta. Can you substitute the value? So here we have 6, 3, negative 2. Dot with the situation negative 2, t, negative 4. Equals to magnitude for the vector A, where we have 36 plus 9 plus 4. Multiply with the magnitude for plus with the t squared plus with 16 cos theta. Kali refers to the left hand side, we dot the situation where we have negative 12 and then plus 3t and then plus 8 equals to the magnitude for we have 49. Square root of we have 20 plus t squared cos theta. Can you continue the situation? We have 3t minus 4 equals to we have 7 multiply with square root of 20 plus with the t squared cos theta. Continue. Kali rearrange the situation and then make sure the theta as a subject. So here we have cos theta equals to we have 3t minus 4 over 7 multiply with the square root 20 plus with the t squared. So theta is equals to r cos bracket we have 3t minus 4 over 7 Multiply with the square root, 20 plus with the t squared. Kali refers to the question, we have the theta which is equal to the arc cos bracket 4 over 21. So kindly compare the situation and we have the situation 3t minus 4 over 7 multiply with the square root of 20 plus with the t squared equals to 4 over 21. Kali cross multiply the situation and we will have 21 multiply with 3t minus 4 equals to we have 4 multiply with the square root of 20 plus with the t squared so we have the 7 on the left hand side now let's simplify the situation and we will have 3 multiply with the 3t minus 4 so here we will have 9t minus 12 equals to 4 multiply with the square root of 20 plus with the t squared next is to square both sides in order to eliminate the square root. So we have 81 t squared minus, we have 9 multiplied with the 12, we have 108. So here we have 216 t plus 144 equals to, we have 4 squared which is equals to 16, bracket 20 plus with the t squared. So kindly expand and then simplify the situation. So here we have 81 t squared, focus on this part, we have positive 16 squared. So if we rearrange, we will have negative 16 squared minus 216 plus 144 minus we have 320 equals to 0. We have 65 t squared minus 216 and then minus 176 equals to 0. So kindly factor out the situation. So here we have t minus 4 bracket. Multiply with 65t plus with 44 equals to 0. So t is equals to 4. t equals to, we have negative 44 over 65. So that is the scalar for t for the situation. Find the point where the line, where we have the line for the parametric equation. Cut the plane. We have r dot bracket. We have the normal equals to 8. So focus on the line. Highly express the situation in a parametric form. So at first, we have x plus 1 equals to t. Continue, y minus 2 equals to 4t. Then, z minus 3 equals to t. So x is equals to negative 1 plus with the t. y is equals to 2 plus with 4t. z is equals to 3 plus with the t. So that is the parametric for the line. Continue, focus on the plane. Highly expand the situation in the Cartesian form. So here we will have 2x minus y plus 1 
plus with 3z is equal to 8. So Kylie refers to the situation, take the parametric equation of the line and then substitute into the Cartesian equation of the plane. So we have 2x negative 1 plus with the t minus y. So in here, the y would be 2 plus with the 4t. And then plus with 3z, 3 plus with the t equals to 8. So Kylie, expand and then rearrange the situation. So negative 2, negative 2 plus with the 9 minus 8. Continue. We have plus 2t minus 4t plus with 3t equals to 0. So can you simplify the situation? We have negative 3. Continue. Focus on the t. So we have plus t equals to 0. So t is equals to 3. So can you substitute the t equals to 3 into the parametric equation? And we will have x is equals to negative 1 plus with the 3, we have 2. y is equals to 2 plus with the 12, and we will have 14. 3 plus with the 3, and we will have 6. So the points of intersection would be 2, 14, and then 6. So that is the point where the line cut the play. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel and share this video to your friend. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.